welcome or welcome back to my channel it is boss lady and y'all today honey i'm about to show you guys how to make this super easy and quick apple dump cake y'all this recipe is super super easy quick and baby it is delicious all right y'all let's get into this video so for this recipe i am going to be using some betty crocker yellow cake mix we're going to go in with some apple filling and we're going to use some pure vanilla extract, ground allspice, and we're going to go in with some ground cinnamon and butter to top it. But you guys will see that later. So I'm about to go ahead and open my can of my um, apple pie filling. Now, y'all, you can make this with whatever you want to make it with. If you want to make a quick and easy peach cobbler, you can also do this with um peach cobbler filling and it'll get the same results so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my bowl and as you guys can see i am using one can and that's just because i was cooking it for myself and baby boy i think boss man might have tasted it but you don't need i mean if it, if your family is small then you can use one can but if you're making a big pan to feed a crowd then you definitely want to use a couple more cans of that apple pie filling you guys, we're also going to use some dark brown sugar. Now, you can use dark brown sugar or light brown sugar. Um, I had dark brown, so that's what I decided to use. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some on top of my apple pie filling. I'm getting ready to add in my vanilla extract, and I used a tablespoon of vanilla extract a teaspoon of the ground allspice and i just winged it with the cinnamon i am mixing up my ingredients just making sure everything is well incorporated y'all this was one of the quickest desserts i have ever made Now, I did go back in with some white sugar because the brown sugar alone, it was okay, but I felt like adding some white sugar just took it to another level. So, I added maybe three tablespoons of white sugar. So, I have cleaned the edges of my bowl, spread everything out. I am getting ready to open my cake mix. And, y'all, I am going to just dump this cake mix right on top when one of my I think great 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 aunts taught me this recipe I was like wait a minute you just gonna dump the cake mix on there without making it I mean mixing it with milk eggs anything she was like just follow my directions <laughs> so y'all yeah, that is what I'm doing following her directions I've made this before um so I just put the cake mix on top you guys and what I'm about to do is I am going to cut up my butter and just place the butter directly on top of the cake batter now, if you want your batter to be super thick, then you can follow the directions um, that it gives you for the cake and it, you'll get the same taste. It'll just have a thicker crust to it. Right here, I am just adding my butter. I am cutting these pieces in half and you really just want to dollop your butter on there in different places because once it starts cooking, it's definitely going to spread out. So you don't have to try to get butter in every area like you don't want to cover the batter with butter if that makes sense i hope it does now that i have my butter all spread out i am going to put this in the oven on 375 until it is golden and bubbly on top and this is what you guys will get oh look at that y'all it was so good oh my goodness it was delicious now, you know your girl had to take it a step further and add me some vanilla ice cream on top. Y'all, this was a super quick and easy, delicious recipe. If you like the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're one of my people, thanks again. Come again and bring a friend and I will see y'all the next one. Bye!